Confectioners, what's up? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. The spirit of Christmas has hit me and it hit me hard. Do you like my balls? From now, right up until Christmas, I'll be doing Christmas cake videos. Are you queer like I'm queer? Do you smoke what I smoke? A bong, a bong. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. <laughs> Today, I'll be making a snowman cake. Let's do it! Yo! So for this snowman, I baked off four nine-inch round cakes, two six-inch round cakes, and three seven-inch round cakes. I'm gonna start with my four nine-inch round cakes, level them out, fill them with buttercream, stack them up, and then I'm gonna start carving. Let's do it! So there was a very lovely lady who asked me why I cut and flip my cakes in one of my videos in the comments. I forget your name, I'm so sorry. I could go back and look for it, but I just, well, I don't want it right now, I'm too lazy. I'm filming a video. The reason why I cut my cakes and then flip them is because when you flip them, you get that really nice edge from the pan and it's really nice if you're, especially if you're doing a fondant cake because then you get that really nice crisp corner. So that's why I flip my cake. buttercream on my cake board to glue my cake to the bottom so this cake is fairly tall but I am going to be carving it I don't want a fully round shape most snowmen have a round bottom <laughs> a round bottom I want to go for more of like a teardrop shape let's see if it works so my second tier of this cake is going to be a six inch cake so what I did is just cut a cake board down to the size of the six inch cake I'm going to stick it right in the middle and I'm gonna start carving outward from that cake board. I like that shape, it's like an egg shape. It's like the shape of me. <laughs> no, I'm more of a, I have an hourglass figure. Bitch, work. So I'm actually gonna dowel the cake first before I ice it. So what I'm gonna do is leave this center dowel as tall as it is so that it has a lot of extra support because the middle tier is gonna be smaller than the top tier. So I'm just going to cut a hole in the center of my cake board, slip it on the top. Okay, it might not be the best looking hole. <laughs> it's been used and abused, but I'm going to use it anyway. So I do want them to be a little fatter. So what I'm gonna do is just take my cheater bag, right in the center of the egg shape. I'm just gonna put a little extra icing all the way around. I'm just gonna shape it as I'm smoothing it out. And I'm just gonna pull all that buttercream up towards the top of the cake. And it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth because I am going to cover this in coarse sugar. 
So it kind of glistens like snow. <laughs> So now that your icing is done, we're gonna give them a coat of coarse white sugar, pop them into the freezer for about a half an hour, and we'll start working on the second tier. These are just two six inch round white cakes. I'm just gonna level them out, fill them with buttercream, stack them up, and start carving. So I'm gonna stick a dowel right in the middle of the sky. All the way through. And then I'm just gonna pull it back out. So that when we put this on top of the bottom tier, that middle dowel sticking through, it'll just slip right in there. So, just FYI, you should have probably put the sugar on before you put the second tier on. But, I mean, hey, we all make mistakes. It's all a learning process. We're in this together. So I have three seven inch round cakes, just gonna level them out, fill them with buttercream, and stack them up and start carving. Wish me luck. Yeah, that's not working too well. Oh my god, look at all this sugar. I picked up a few things from the dollar store. I picked up this pet collar, this pet thing. Anyway, I thought it'd be cute to put around his neck. So I'm just gonna actually cut that right in half. I have this cool light up necklace and I thought it'd be cool if we put that around them as well. So I have two piping bags here, one with black icing and one with white icing. So I'm going to draw his, um, what's it called, button. If you want, you can take a really hot spatula and just tap the top of them to flatten them out. Here's the button. And just adding a little bit of white for some reflection.
I forgot his mouth. So I'm just gonna draw some dots for his mouth. So next I have a little bit of orange fondant that I saved actually, left over from my Halloween pumpkin cake with Rosie. I just want to give him a really short stubby nose. And I'm just sticking a dowel right in there. Now last but not least, I picked these little twigs up at the dollar store and they're just battery operated and they glow. But I want these to be his hands, so he's gonna have ginormous hands. He's gonna be like this. Yes, it's Christmas, yes! If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new Christmas videos every single week right up until Christmas. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video. Sugary. He could be my sugar daddy. Are you queer like I'm queer? It'll just slip right in there. Yes, it's Christmas, yes!